So, um, I've been a really big fan. I'm not gonna lie. I've been a really big fan of Aisha Speed lately. I've been really enjoying his European tour that he's been on, and I've been enjoying it mostly because it's refreshing to have like an IRL streamer who isn't going around trying to annoy people. You know, most IRL streamers, maybe it's part of the genre, but I don't understand this whole premise that all IRL streamers have this tendency to just make their content about how can I annoy people? How can I piss off people just minding their business? Whether it's couples, whether it's random people walking on the street, homeless people, all they do in their content to get a rise is to, to entertain their audience is to get a rise out of people. And I think it's really cruel. It's really, it's almost evil in some respects and just not necessary. There's enough things that happen in real life to yourself day to day that you could do that doesn't involve you having to like poke people and provoke them to do something for you to get content and you to like appease people online and make your monies i think that's awful so at least with i show speed when he's going to europe as an american kid for the first time you'd imagine on this tour and going to all these different countries in europe most countries in europe that i haven't even visited he's going to fucking you know far from places in europe and actually engaging with the public and walking around and eating all the all their local dishes and visiting certain sites and whatever it may be and obviously meeting the fans and shit i've really enjoyed it and also the fact that he's american i think it's a good motivation and inspiration to a lot of kids to show them that you don't always just have to do the whole standard streamer thing of like buying APs and Lamborghinis and G-Wagons. Sometimes the benefit of being a streamer that makes millions and millions is that you get the opportunity to just do what you want. You can kind of travel the world and just live stream it and also make some money. You know, you can kind of uh, find out like how great it is to use your funds to do those type of things and have those life experiences instead of wasting it on frivolous things like, you know, fancy watches and fast cars and shit, which are also good. But I guess those feelings and those emotions, those experiences are probably fleeting. Now, one of the interesting things about his experience in Europe is that it did kind of expose how racist some countries are in Europe, which you don't really understand until you go, especially someone like myself, because I tend to go to some of the most touristy bait places in Europe where they're very used to tourism and people from all different walks of life coming there. But sometimes when you go to far flung places in Europe, where there's probably not a lot of like minorities, you are reminded of the, you know, of the dicey history Europe has with people that look like me. So in this particular clip, um, Speed is minding his business. Speed is minding his business, right? On live stream, traversing through a city square where, you know, people are eating and chilling and having a good time, but he's outside and he's walking through the town square and some woman decides to just give him the middle finger. And it's legitimately a hilarious interaction because... I feel like we've all been as minorities, as blacks, as niggas. We've all been in similar situations, isk, where people, especially the fairer skinned, just have an issue with your presence. Just your, just, just you being around and being yourself is an issue to them. Whether you're speaking on the phone, whether you're tapping your foot to some music, whether you're speaking to your friend or whatever. They just seem to have an issue with just you expressing yourself and existing. And this is one of those instances where he does nothing wrong. He does everything correct, as DSP would say. And this woman legitimately decides to give him a double middle finger salute. Absolutely wild. Check this clip out. <laughs> middle fingers to me. Why you put a middle finger to me? Why you put a middle finger to me, man? No, she put a middle finger up to me. Why though? I try to have dinner. I try to have dinner. What a cunt. So he's walking through the place and there's a table full of people who have, one, the woman has their back to him and she decides to put the middle fingers up and when confronted, she starts to act like he is harassing her. That's like typical Karen behavior, isn't it? You're the one that gave me the middle finger I'm now confronting you about this and then you're acting like I'm harassing you. This is one of those instances. This is one of those instances where I say maybe violence against women is justified. Can we take pictures, pictures together, pictures together? I tried to have dinner, okay? Don't put the middle finger. Yo, she, she put the middle finger to me. She put and then this guy comes in. I'm not too sure if this guy is the woman's son or a relative or something. But in this particular case, if you're one of those people, if you're one of these sensitive Nancys out there who's like, oh, you can't hit women. Okay, cool. Let's not do that. 
In this situation, if this was me and this guy starts barking and starts defending his mom, his auntie, his grandma, whoever this person is to him, and then starts to become a little bit aggressive or condescending, if I sense a slight, a slight inkling of disrespect, I'm putting the beats on this guy and I'm making it clear to that woman that I'm only beating him up because of you. So if you can't hit the lady, because allegedly you can't hit women, right? If you can't hit the woman, if you can't hit the grandmother, then you beat the brakes off this guy. Even if he is being nice, even if he is being nice, you beat the brakes off of him so that everyone learns a lesson. Because I think in this situation, even though Aisha Speed did well, Aisha Speed did well, he stood, he, he stood 10 toes down, he confronted him, he was very kind of, you know, even in his tone, he didn't raise his voice, he wasn't a crazy black guy, he didn't go crazy, he didn't do all the things that people would think a black kid would do in this situation. I think in this particular situation, people like this, who go out of their way to be rude, I don't think there's any way you can get through to them apart from violence. I don't advocate for violence. I don't think it's a good idea. But in this situation, he's minding his business. I think the only way this woman learns is with pure and utter violence. Either you beat the brakes off of this guy who's got nothing to do with it, but you make an example of him and you beat him into a bloody pulp and you look her dead in the eye and you say, this is because of you. Or you just choke her out. Now, you, both, both instances, you can end up in prison. But they won't ever do that again. Put the middle finger to me for no reason. Okay, that's fine. What? I try to eat dinner too, okay? See, see what they're saying? We're trying to eat dinner. They're, trying, they're acting as if he's like a homeless person asking for money. They're asking like he's like a busker trying to make them pay attention to his music. They're acting as if he's the one disturbing them when he was walking past them. They have their back turned to him. She makes a point to raise two middle fingers up and point them to the camera. I'd understand if she was annoyed at just their presence because Speed has attracted the crowd and they're all gathered around the restaurant. I understand why she's annoyed. I get the premise of why you're annoyed, but you don't get to just be rude to me for no reason. I know why you're annoyed that he's there because it's Aisha Speed. He's the king of the youth. Wherever he goes, loads of kids follow him like fucking lemmings. I understand if you're having a dinner with your family and then you know hundreds of 19 year olds are screaming i show speed i show speed i get it i get it i get it but in this particular situation he's walking past you you could even say something under your breath like oh. you could kiss your teeth but why do you have to point your your raise up your hands and lift your fingers up to the camera that's unnecessary that's where i would have been mad at because just a little you know, little mumble under the breath. I probably wouldn't have paid much attention to it. I probably would have pretended to ignore it because I get it. I get why you're annoyed. But going every way to raise your fingers is annoying. And then, then trying to gaslight me and say something like, we're just trying to have our dinner. We're just trying to have our dinner. Bitch, I'm trying to have my dinner too. That's where I was going until you gave me the middle finger salute. I was also about to have dinner. You don't get to be rude to me and then expect me not to say nothing. And then when I say something, you're making it seem like I'm dis I'm going out way to disturb you. You disturb my peace, motherfucker. So in this instance, you have to beat the guy into a bloody pulp and then maybe beat the woman up into a bloody pulp too because now they're both annoying. I'm just trying to do the same thing, okay? So relax. I just came here to eat dinner just like you. So don't so don't get mad at me, okay? I'm sorry that this happened, but that's just what it is. That, that is how like... I would have never said the words, I'm sorry this is happening. It's a, it's a, it's a somewhat of a public space. Where the restaurant is, is not a public space, but the rest of it is. I know it's annoying, but I'm going to be gone soon. These guys are going to be fair for it. If you've been to Europe, you know, European countries, most European countries, most European places, especially with a decent restaurant scene, people sit outside and eat for hours. They might be there for like from the afternoon all the way into the evening. So it's not like they're going to leave here anytime soon. He probably will. He doesn't stay that long. He'll probably have something to eat and then bounce. So it's not even like you have that long to endure it. Just suck it up. Be an adult and behave like an adult. Don't behave like a child. Even the children on the camera, on Speed's camera, don't get in front of the camera and put middle finger up when he's on stream. Even the children know how to behave, but you guys are acting like children. Then the child confronts you and then you start trying to play the victim. I would, I would have blacked out. This, okay? All right. Look, honestly, how how could you be condescending to me about you go one way, we'll carry our dinner? I was going another way until this woman gave me the middle finger salute. He was going one way. He was heading past them until she saw the camera, made the effort to put her fingers in front of the camera, and then turned around in some sort of disgusting way. And notice, by the way, this woman is such a coward. 
She has not spoken again. She's letting this guy get all the smoke. The woman that gave him the middle finger salute isn't even standing 10 toes down on her disrespect. Because I'd, I'd, I'd actually respect that. If she actually said, you know what? Fuck you. Stinky American dude. You were disturbing my dinner. Look at you got all these fucking kids here. Like I would, I would respect that a bit. But you can't just put the middle finger up at me and then when I confront you, you just tuck your tail in and start playing the victim. No. Stand on your shit. But she's letting this guy get all the pain. Get all the better brunt of all the aggression. <sighs> Hey, okay, well, next time, tell that young lady not to throw a middle finger at me, because I didn't do nothing, anything to her, okay? All right? Okay. Look how he's looking at them. Honestly, I would have beat the brakes off of this guy. I would have beat the brakes off of this guy just to teach that woman a lesson and made it really excessive, like force that doesn't, not necessary unnecessary force maybe over the top force because in this situation the whole table is pissing me off now because what she did was completely wrong the table should have maybe tried to defuse the situation immediately but 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 they didn't they were all kind of quiet so maybe they will agree with what she did but they're not too brave to stand behind it or to back her and now this guy is like you know acting a little bit condescending and shit maybe he's the son so maybe i get it if that's your mum, regardless if she's right or wrong you're gonna back your mum. i get it but if your mum does some fuck shit you have to catch the beats it's like being out with your girl if you've got a girl that's a bit mouthy that likes to give chat back and stuff she might get you in trouble it just is what it is you have to just learn how to fight it it is it, it happens <laughs> sometimes you have a sibling sometimes you have a sibling who's like that who maybe is a bit of a liability when you go out they get drunk and they start getting a bit aggressive like it's just what it is, what it is. if you want to go out with your brother you have to bring your mouth guard you know, you know, if you go out with your sister, you know what I mean? You, you have to bring some, you have to put a couple hairbands in your bag to tie your hair back in case something goes down. You know, it just is what it is. So in this situation, I understand all sides. I get why the woman's annoyed for putting a middle finger. I get why this guy jumped in, if that's his mum or his grandmother or auntie. But in this situation, lessons need to be learned. And that lesson comes at the edge of, you know, at the pointy end of your elbow at the end of your fist and maybe on the soles of your feet. Hey, have, a good night, guys. have a nice dinner. <sighs> Yo. But again, not surprising. If you've been to certain places in Europe, especially Central and Eastern Europe, so forgive me, all my Central and Eastern Europe brothers and sisters, but y'all people don't like niggas. <laughs> especially niggas that act like niggas. <laughs> you don't like it. And the funny thing is, the majority of kids that are following speed in these countries, guess what? They're all white. <laughs> That's the funny thing. He's got an international fan base, but every place that he goes to, especially in mainland Europe, is majority white. So all the white kids that love him, go and follow him. So it's not even like, so this is definitely directed at him, the hate. It's not even directed at the kids. It's directed at him. Loud black man, rich black man, boisterous black man. Like, we don't like you. And I find it interesting because it's just a reflection of even, or it's a representation of, like, even my experience. I'm I'm nowhere near as famous or as clouted up or as rich as this kid. And he's getting this, despite clearly looking like a celebrity. He's walking through his restaurant with security guards. There's people cheering his name. So you know he's a noteworthy person. So you'd think if this was like a if this was me, I'd get it. If this happened to me, I'd get it. Right? Imagine, you know, I'm just by myself and I'm making no I'd understand a little bit. I'm on the phone, I'm playing fucking the new, I don't know, young fuck album on loudspeaker. I'm talking super loud to my friend. I don't know, whatever. I'd understand this. But you'd think they'd, they'd be a little bit shy about doing it because he looks like a celebrity. All the kids are chanting his name. He's got two big black security yards around him. You just would be a little bit like, you know, shy of doing it. But the fact that she wasn't shy to just like stick her middle fingers up to the camera is just proof. It's just proof how racist, how utterly racist parts of mainland Europe can be. So... If you are of the darker complexion and you're considering coming over t here, especially in Europe, um, I would be aware. You, you should just be aware of it. Don't be dissuaded to come because obviously those countries are amazing to go to. Great cuisine, great sights to see, great people. But just keep in mind, if you get some odd looks from people, if you maybe if you hear them mumbling underneath their breath or giggling, sometimes they're going to say some crazy shit to you. Sometimes. And you have to be ready to stand on your shit. And in this situation, especially with the security guards, I would have just blacked out on the dude. I would have just blacked out on the dude and made the security guards maybe hit the grandma. Fuck it.
Make the security guard sit the grandma. They're there to protect you anyway. They have to look after your safety. Make those big black make those big black security guards beat up the grandmother. That would have been that would have been a vibe, you know. <laughs> that that clip would have gone viral. I think that's what I would have put because in this situation, like somebody has to learn a lesson because that woman's attitude was just stinky, you know, to do that sort of stuff when he's not actively doing anything to you and hasn't, you know, maybe the other clip where he makes a baby cry would be more of a reason to like give him the middle finger and shit. I get it. But in this particular situation, he's walking past you and you go out of your way to put your middle finger up like you're an arsehole. You're a complete arsehole. It's unnecessary. Very, very, very unnecessary. But hey, what can you do? What can you do?